Hi friends, welcome back to another episode of Kayla Creates. And today I have a bunch of plant care stuff to do, like a bunch. Um, so much that I have actually written a list. Um, the only notebook that I have is one of Ryan's old like school notebooks, so it's fine. Um, a lot of them are just like repotting and cutting stuff because I am reaching the end of growing season and I would like to get all these things done before it's actually cold out. Um, it, we're starting to have like the beginnings of feelings of fall so I kind of want to get my plants feeling good before the sun starts setting earlier and all of that type of stuff. So I have to repot like five plants and then I have like I have to like cut some plants that are just sending out runners, some plants I want to cut up that aren't doing super well. Um, so yeah, we're just kind of gonna slowly but surely get through my list. Maybe we'll get through everything, maybe we won't. I have to go back to work in like five hours, so hopefully I can get all this done in like five hours, but who knows? Um, but yeah, without further ado, come with me to start chopping up some plants. All right, so first I have a couple of plants that have long runners coming off of them just as they're getting farther away from the light. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm just going to be chopping off those runners. I am filming with one hand, so I'm going to let those runners drop to the floor. Um, and then I will be cutting them up into different pieces like in between their nodes. So I'll show you that in just a little bit. But first I'm going to be cutting up my Cebu Blue my Adansonii, and then actually I'm going to be cutting some from my Monstera Peru. I have some kind of runners down here, not a whole ton, but they're still kind of bare, so I think I'm gonna cut them off. Um, and I actually believe that's it for over here. Um, I am gonna do a couple more on the other side of the house as well. So I have already cleaned my snips and oh, this always scares me so much. Oh, poor guy, I'm sorry. You've been working so hard. It is kind of satisfying though, seeing my plant look a little bit more put together. <laughs> you actually went into here. How's the back side? Mm, not great. Let's see. Ah, it's all tangled. I might leave this one on because there are a couple of leaves down there and I like the fact that it's trailing. Yeah, I think I'm going to leave that one on there. And then I'm going to come over here and chop mm, with this runner probably right here where I've last had a leaf, a full leaf at least. And then here. I think I'm gonna leave these guys alone for now. Yeah. Everybody else looks like they're doing pretty, pretty well. Okay, so now I am going to just be cutting in between the nodes. So I'm kind of just gonna be cutting. Um, so anywhere I see like almost like a little root coming out I can cut right between those and they should be growing into completely separate plants. Um, I do have all the pieces here that I've already cut off um, and yeah I don't actually know which plant is which so we're kind of going to put them all together and it'll be surprised at what grows. Um, but um, I have a node right here so I'm going to cut it into a little piece and I'm going to be doing that for all of them. So put my nodes here, put the trash over there, and I'm just kind of going to zoom through this. Actually, 
this one I think I'm gonna be putting in water to propagate um, I actually have a Monstera Peru right here and I think I'm gonna prop it in there in just a little bit since these leaves look nice I do cut the leaves off um, because I don't want them to rot and they're not doing super great anyway so maybe now I can grow another leaf from that point or at least a new stem like it's about it for this specific portion I am gonna leave these out to dry out just a little bit just so the ends are gonna dry um, and I'm also going to be put them in a container that's already full so we will step to another plant that I want to cut up okay so next I have this fuzzy petiole philodendron and this guy has been struggling for a very long time um, the top leaves have been looking better than the bottom leaves do, um, but I've had this in my house for a while and it's been doing better since I put it in my cabinet, but it's actually getting too close to the lights now, so these big leaves are starting to get burnt. So I'm going to be cutting them up into probably single leaf cuttings so then they can hopefully grow into be uh, better pieces just because the bottom looks so bad and I kind of want to give this plant a chance because I love it so much. Um, I will be water propagating this and I'll show you guys that in just a little bit. But um, yeah, I'm going to be cutting all the leaves apart, which is very scary, but I'm going to be doing it. I'm going to keep this one together because I do want to keep this leaf and the potential for a new one. So I'm going to use this as the area to put in the water to hopefully save a node. of this plant I'm actually going to be tossing just because the nodes that are down here are all used up like there can't grow another leaf from all these nodes they're all pretty much like triples anyway and these are the oldest leaves so they are going to be the first to go I did get quite a few actual leaf cuttings and then quite a few node cuttings as well and honestly if none of these work this plant has not been bringing me joy for a very long time so and none of my friends or family would be able to take care of this plant either so even if this doesn't work out I think it'll be okay um, I'll be sad of course because I want it to work out but 
I'm going to be getting rid of the rest of this plant and I also have another idea for this pot so that's another reason why but that's another thing off the list all right so now I am going to be repotting a couple of plants um, I have one two three four plants to actually repot and then I have this little container of propagations that I've been having going for honestly way too long um, so I'm going to be potting these up as well. So actually I'm going to do that first because that one is honestly the most intimidating. So before I get pots and stuff ready, oh my god they're so cute. <laughs> so in here I have um, two different plants I believe. So I have my silver sword little tiny propagations which these leaves are so cute. And then I have my skeleton key propagations as well. So I believe that's it in here. This one looks variegated. I don't know. I have lots of random things in here. Honestly, I need to take them all out and things that haven't sprouted, I'm gonna get rid of because then they probably won't because I haven't touched this thing in months. Um, so I'm just hoping I don't break too many roots because I've been letting this root for way too long. So honestly, I might just, oh no. Is this all just one big root mat? Oh, it is. This might not be good. <laughs> Can you guys see that? It's all just one big root mat. Hmm. I don't want them to be together because they have pretty different properties, different care and such. So I would like them to be separate. So I'm kind of just going to zoom through this footage probably and just hopefully get some of them apart. And I'm going to separate them between the Epipremnum and the Philodendron. So they are all separated. Now I'm going to pot them up into two little pots. So my soil mix is something that I already have mixed up. It is just um, cocoa coir with some perlite, charcoal, and worm castings. If I'm potting up Hoyas, I will also put some orchid bark in there as well. Um, but that's kind of expensive, so I don't want to put it in everything. <laughs> Um, so I'm just going to be potting everything.
So I potted them all into the same pot. Um, I am going to be growing these in my greenhouse cabinet for just a little while until they are a little bit more accustomed to their um, soil roots, I guess. They were growing in sphagnum. Um, they are a little bit cramped in here, but they were used to being cramped in the container. So I kind of wanted them to be used to that. Um, and yeah, I'm probably just going to be filling in a little bit of soil a little bit at a time um, until they really fill out these pots. Um, and then in another couple of months, I might be able to separate them into a couple more plants. Okay. The next one that I have to repot is one that I'm a little bit nervous to do. I've been putting this off for a very long time. This is my philodendron squamiferum, which is so cute, but it is still in its nursery pot sitting in here, but then that is growing out the bottom. Um, can you see all those roots? So I'm a little bit nervous to do this. Um, honestly, I should probably put it in a slightly bigger pot, but I just don't have one right now. So we will see how this goes. I really don't want to lose all these roots. Oh, it's so in there. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> Look at those fluffy roots. Oh my gosh. Okay, this is going to be fun. I didn't realize how short this pot was that I was in. Oh my gosh, there's roots coming from everywhere. Ah! This whole thing is literally just roots. <laughs> oh my goodness, look at that. Oh, I feel so bad for you, baby. Wow, um, I'm gonna try and, I don't even know if I can. I was gonna try and break up this root ball a little bit, but like, oh boy. Okay, yeah, I don't think I'm gonna be able to do very much to this one without breaking a ton of these roots. That is solid. All right, well, I guess I'm just gonna be putting this into the pot. I'm gonna try and look for a bigger pot now. I didn't realize just how bad these roots were. Oh my gosh, that's like not much better than what it was. Ooh, okay. Maybe it is like an inch bigger. I might fill in the sides at least. best we're gonna do for now. I'm going to be keeping my eyes peeled for a bigger pot for this guy because like oh my goodness <laughs> but another plant done. The next one I have is my Syngonium confetti so I'm going to be potting it into this cute little heart planter that I found on my last plant shopping trip. Um, yeah. Love it. 
Next is my Hoya Polymer. I've been putting this off for so long, so. I'm gonna reuse some of this soil for it. I just want it to be a little bit more dense, um, just because I tend to underwater this guy just a little bit. in this little pot. Ah, uh, look how cute that is. Ah, I love it. And then last but not least, I'm gonna do this guy over here. This is my lemon meringue pathos, and I'm gonna be putting it in the same pot that I had that fuzzy leaf philodendron. I just uh, scrubbed it out, um, and it is ready to go. looks cute. Looks a lot cuter in an actual pot. Okay, um, and then off camera I'm just going to be watering all of these and filling in any soil that has kind of fill in in any of those air gaps. All right, so now I have that same container. I put some fresh sphagnum moss in here. Unfortunately, I don't think the other sphagnum moss was salvageable um, just because there were so many roots in it. Um, so I have some fresh sphagnum moss and I'm honestly just going to sprinkle these guys all in here. In a couple of weeks, if I see some that are rooting, I will probably um, keep those in here and the ones that aren't rooting, I will probably take out uh, but I don't want them like completely sitting in some water. The sphagnum hasn't completely uh, soaked everything up yet. I'm being a little bit impatient, um, but pretty much I just put it in here. I cover it up and I let it sit. I don't water it, I don't touch it, um, and it's been completely fine. I haven't had any issues with any mold or anything yet, um, but I'm just going to put that up in my grow light and it's going to sit there for a couple of months. And then as for my fuzzy petiole cuttings, I'm going to just be using a mason jar. I'm going to put some water and some liquid dirt in it and be right back. So I have a good amount of liquid dirt in here. I have let these sit long enough that the ends are dry to the touch um, and I'm just going to be placing them in the water. I don't want the leaves necessarily to be in there, um, the petioles of the leaves either, so I'm kind of trying to soak them just enough that those nodes are in the water, but the petioles are not. Um, some petioles are okay with it, but um, I don't want to push it and potentially rot even more. But I'm just going to be going ahead and putting this into my greenhouse cabinet and hopefully it will do better than it was and hopefully I can get a nice big plant starting with some of these beautiful new leaves. Alright, so that is all that I have for today. Um, I know this is going to be a lot. Um, if you guys want to see updates on that little propagation box, just let me know. If you want to see updates on any of the plants that I repotted today, let me know. 
but I hope you guys have a wonderful day wherever you are, and I hope to see you guys again on the next one. Bye.